Have you ever had the need to adjust the position of a PTZ camera to fit the height of a presenter? Let me introduce a new solution called the PTZ Move System. This can be installed on a wall if space is a limitation. The position can be adjusted manually or electronically with different control possibilities. Hello, I'm here next to the new PTZ Move System, a cool robotic solution that allows to adjust the position of the camera when it's mounted on the wall. I'm here with Axel, who has designed and is producing that solution. Axel, what are the main benefits of that solution? I believe this is quite easy to say. Um, one of the first and uh, important points is it do not need a lot of space. So you can mount this solution directly on a wall, especially in virtual studio environments. You have the situation that the room is often quite small and you are very happy about every piece of space you can get. So it makes sense to mount a solution directly on the wall or on other concrete under construction. This is one of the important points. Uh, one of the other important points is, of course, it is very precise. And uh, especially the robotic solutions are able to provide 3D information. So um, the usage in a virtual studio application is really good. And also for non-virtual uh, situations, the possibility of adjusting the position of the camera remotely and with, uh, safe, in a safety way, yes. that's a very important feature as well. Absolutely, right? yes. There are different versions of that system. So, Axel, can you tell us a bit uh, about the different possibilities that we can configure for that system? We have overall seen four main versions of the system. Um, all of these four main versions are containing two main parts. The first main part is always the construction part, where we mount the system directly to the wall or to the, to the under construction. Uh, this part called KST SH, the system holder. The other part is the part where the camera and the technology around the camera is mounted on. Uh, this is the ST part. In German we say Systemträger, English System Carrier, but ST is a number. And um, both are available in several versions. Let's start with the easiest. Uh, the easiest version is the KST SH Base 1. Base means um, it is the type of mounting and the type of the drive. Uh, B1 has no drive. That means it's a mechanical version and uh, you have to open some clamps and then you can shift this part, which is motorized here, by hand in the right uh, height, um, just to do it from time to time. For example, your production situation is changing, uh, let's say, one time a week or one time a month between a standing moderation to a sitting situation like a talk round or something like this. Of course, you have to adjust the height of the camera a bit and that's it. Uh, an easy solution, but you have to do it by hand. Uh, the B2 version is already a motorized version. Uh, this version is made for situations like weather moderations. Um, in the weather moderation situation, it is quite often so that the, the weather moderator by himself is standing alone somewhere in a small studio, yeah, often an office. The, the height of the moderator is changing from time to time because uh, you have a tall moderator or a small moderator. And um, exactly here, we will place the B2 version. The B2 version is this motorized version here. What are the possibilities in terms of control? Do we always need a combat system or could it be something more simple? No, this is an absolutely independent system. It has nothing to do with combat. Of course, we can control it from combat. But uh, to be honest, uh, this is not made for a complex studio situation. This is made for a very a simple situation, one moderator is standing in yeah, more or less an office room or something like this, where they do very often the weather moderations or, or stock moderations or things like this. Yeah? And uh, you have here a small controller with a PC inside. For example, if you have a, a small moderator now, it is possible to press here the down button and then you can adjust the height of the system. Um, of course, it is not silent because it is not made for on-air drives and so on. Uh, but it's an easy solution just to hide, uh, to adjust a heavy equipment in height uh, quite easy and quite safe. And this is very important. Uh, everybody can do it. By the way, 
uh, by pressing this button here, you can uh, make it remotable, and uh, from now on, you can reach it uh, with a web interface or per GPI, which is also a very nice fact uh, if you want to handle the height of the system, for example, from the video mixer side. Uh, the B3 version is the first robotic version, and this is something what we, where we make a clear difference between the electric version and the robotic version, because the robotic version can really uh, reach specific positions and can provide 3D information. For example, if you want to combine a PT head with a box camera and a lens and a 65-inch screen, then this is the right solution. Um, it cannot drive extremely fast, but it can drive on air and quite precise. That means you can reach the position uh, on the millimeter exact. Um, the fourth version um, is more, let's say, uh, for beauty shots. That means the B4 version here um, is a belt drive version, and this belt drive makes it possible to drive quite fast. Uh, we limited it, by the way, to one meter per second, because this is really fast. Uh, and one meter per second is um, a little bit too fast for the most of the PTZ cameras. So uh, it makes sense to drive slower, of course. But um, to have a dynamic change of a position of air, for example, then you need this extremely high speed. Yeah? Uh, normally, the maximum drive is something like we see here now. Uh, it's changing the position to make a beauty shot. And um, a very important and interesting fact is that the B4 version can be mounted vertical and horizontal. And uh, of course, um, it is also, and this is a big difference to the other versions, it is a little bit extractable. The standard version of the B4 is two meters long. That means we have roughly 1.8 meters height. Yeah? Um, but it is extendable to maximum four meters. And this makes it possible to have a nice horizontal drive, let's say half of the studio. This is already a nice uh, solution. Uh, or you can uh, have a vertical solution to adjust the camera between the floor and the ceiling. So and this gives you a very good overview over the complete studio. Thank you, Axel. Thank you for all the explanation on that PTZ move system. I hope you find it useful too. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.